Dropped out of college and got a job as a bike courier. Mostly just to piss off my parents. I was someone you'd never notice. Just a guy delivering packages to folks you'd never know. And then one day, the package found me. Thousands died. Five square blocks smashed into rubble. And at the center was me. Alive, but changed. But no one could have seen what was coming. Back then, Empire City was in quarantine. It had gone to hell. Other people with power started showing up, and it was my job to sort through it all, find out who had given me that package and why. Hell, even my best friend turned his back on me to try to get powers of his own. But in the end, I found the man responsible, Kessler. He explained everything through a vision of the future. A beast is coming. A monster only I can defeat, provided that I am strong and ready to face him. A month later, I met Lucy Quo. She somehow knew all about the beast. In fact, she had come to help me prepare. Claimed her friend Dr. Wolf had worked on the Racefear prototype and that he could amplify my powers. All I had to do was go with her down to Numeray. I need those powers. The beast is coming. And I will be ready. The beast had drained me, broken my powers. It felt like the end. I almost wish it was. The beast had just put itself back together. And now Empire City is dead. Our ship ran for it, fleeing south to New Marais. People kept their distance, whether from respect or fear. I don't know. Either way, I was alone. Others kept busy, acting out their routines as if it would make the world right again. But I knew better. I had been given powers to defeat the beast. I was strong, I was ready. I had fought it with everything I had. And it wasn't enough. That needed to change. The next day I went to work. I helped Zeke create a device to focus my powers. Hell, he'd do anything to be friends like we used to be. Agent Quo gathered intelligence on the beast. Town after town was lost as it traveled down the coast. She also used her contacts to requisition a smaller boat. New Moray was in lockdown, wouldn't let anyone in. We were gonna have to sneak in through the swamp. I don't know if you've ever let someone down, got your ass kicked or straight up failed, but those are the moments that define us. They push you further than you've ever thought possible and force you to make choices, no matter what the cost. Yeah, yeah, I remember Numeray. Came here four years ago while learning how to climb. After the flood, half the buildings were abandoned. It was a haven for urban exploration. Hell, even Zeke banned up and gave it a try. Oh, it was great. See, in any other city you start to climb, you got maybe 10 minutes before the cops show up. But here, well, police had their hands full with other things. Place was lawless. It was raunchy, and except for the hangovers, it was goddamn heaven. But not anymore. Now these redneck assholes strut up and down the street, eyeballing everybody, looking for deviants to punish. Tension's thick. People here are ready to explode. Somewhere in this gorgeous corpse of a town is the key to amping up my powers. These pricks, they're gonna try to get in my way, try to kill me to keep their town pure. I say bring it. The pain of impact. God, it was like a 
small death. Couldn't do a damn thing as the militia carried Quo away, but at least she was alive. Wolf, he was gone. And without him to guide me to more blast cores, I won't be far behind. Hell, at that point, just crawling my way into the storm drain was a trial. That thing from Empire City, I could feel it. It's coming for me. Now I got no way to fight back. The air inside was freezing, and only got colder going down. Quo well, was easy to spot, but hard to look at. Bertrand had bled her dry and filled her up again with God knows what. Getting the restraints off, that was easy. Nothing 20,000 volts couldn't handle. But walking away, I don't know. I got the feeling maybe I'd overdone it a little. Nix was dead quiet as she led the way. Right out onto... I couldn't believe it. A little slice of Empire City. Through a pained voice, Nyx described what had happened here. She told me about Bertrand with the Ray Sphere and a ring of outcasts. They were prostitutes and swamp dwellers, anybody whose death he thought would go unnoticed. Nyx watched as her family was swallowed up in the blast. Afterwards, only the two of them remained. Clearly, Nyx had been a conduit, her body capable of absorbing the Ray Sphere energy, unleashing her powers. Same thing's gotta be true for that supposed human purist Bertrand. Heading back to town, I couldn't stop thinking about it. If Nyx, at the edge of the blast, was made into such a powerhouse. What about Bertrand? The guy at the dead center. I thought Bertrand created these monsters simply to win back the respect to Numeray. But no. God, it is so much bigger. I see invoices for forced conduits to be shipped all over the world. Boxed product supermen for sale to any warlord with cash. Unreal. <laughs> this guy's gonna single-handedly start a new arms race. All nations fighting for control of people of mass destruction. That's weird, though. I mean, could this really be just about the money? When the guy just gives it all away? What's he doing? Is he trying to buy respect? Pay his way into heaven? No, oh, that makes sense. A guy like that? He's out to save the world, some grand Old Testament kind of way. I'm just not seeing the whole picture yet. The stinking gas, the howling, it was nothing compared to the filth inside. Bertrand, I alone saw his true face. Oh, that guy can run all he wants, it doesn't matter. I know his secret, and I am coming for him. We all just held our breath and watched as one by one, the monsters started to drop. Yeah, that RFI worked all right. News said even some folks overseas were keeling over. Poor bastards must have been conduits and didn't even know it. But it was worth it. Cause for the thousands that died, billions were gonna live. The plague, 
man, it was just gone. I could already hear people starting to party. Just celebrating being alive. I thought my friend was gonna go down as an unsung hero. But here in New Murray, they knew what he had done for them. Who'd have guessed that the demon of Empire City would become the patron saint of New Murray? I wanted to say goodbye to him alone. He had been my best friend, and now he was gone. Sometimes I hear folks talking about conduits and humans like they're totally different. That's bullshit. Because there ain't nobody with more humanity than Cole McGrath. I love you, brother. And I'm sure gonna miss you. See you. 